former assassin Jack is spending time with his girlfriend Ingrid in the snowy hills of Sweden, trying to leave his old life behind, which Ingrid is unaware of. They go for a walk one morning and discover footprints in the snow. Ingrid suspects hunters, but Jack is suspicious and drags Ingrid into a hiding spot just in time before someone starts shooting at them from the woods. Jack surprises Ingrid by revealing he has a gun, which he uses to kill the attacker with a single accurate shot. When the body falls in front of them, Jack starts searching for it while telling Ingrid to go to the house and call the cops. When Ingrid turns around, Jack kills her as well because he realizes his identity has been compromised. Nearby, another assassin is waiting for his partner in a car, but Jack finds him and kills him as well. After that, Jack rushes out of the country and travels to Rome, Italy, to meet with his handler Pavel. Although Jack explains that he was discovered by the Swedes and that Ingrid had nothing to do with it, Pavel believes she could have set him up and reminds Jack that he shouldn't make friends in this line of work. Pavel will look after the people who found Jack, but he can't stay in such a big city right now, so he's arranged for Jack to stay in Castelvecchio, a very small town on the map. Jack travels to Castelvecchio in the car Pavel prepared for him, but he dislikes it as soon as he arrives because it is so small and boring. Jack decides to turn around, toss the phone Pavel gave him, and drive to Castel del Monte, a more active town. Here he rents a very humble apartment and adopts the name Edward, but most of the neighbors call him the American. Jack begins a daily routine that includes exercise, going to the local cafe, and bringing his camera to natural areas because he is pretending to be a photographer. Although he now lives a peaceful life, Jack remains vigilant for any danger that may follow him, using binoculars to keep an eye on Castelvecchio in case anyone is looking for him. Because of his constant state of alertness, Jack is startled whenever the neighbor's scooter makes a gunshot-like sound. One morning, Jack is having difficulty using a vending machine when he is approached by Father Benedetto, who assists him after Jack claims he isn't good with machines. Benedetto asks him a series of questions to get to know him better and then invites him to drink wine at his house later. Jack declines, but Benedetto reminds him that priests see everything. Following that, Jack uses a payphone to finally call Pavel, who is furious at him for abandoning the cell phone. Pavel still offers Jack a job, which would entail making a custom fit for another assassin, which means Jack won't have to kill anyone. Jack says he'll think about it. Jack goes to see Benedetto in the evening for that drink. Benedetto is surprised that if Jack is photographing Italy, he isn't learning about the country's history. He believes this is due to Jack's American nature, which leads him to believe he can escape history and only live in the present. Later, Jack drives to Salmona, where he shops and observes Mathilda from a distance. When she sits at a cafe, Jack takes the table next to her and picks up her newspaper when she drops it, indicating that he is the gunsmith she seeks. Mathilda gives Jack all the information she requires for her weapon, and Jack accepts the job. He also mentions that there has been a guy watching them, but Mathilda insists she is working alone. When Jack returns home, he believes he sees the same guy in town and makes every effort to avoid him. At night, Jack has trouble sleeping, and he responds to any noise by drawing his gun. A few days later, Jack goes to the post office to pick up a very special package. It contains the components he needs to begin working on the weapon. The first half of the assembly goes well, but he'll need some extra parts to make a silencer. When it gets dark, he goes to a body house and meets Clara, a call girl who rocks his world. Later, when Benedetto's car breaks down in the middle of the road, Jack assists him in repairing it. The priest expresses his gratitude by inviting him to dinner at his home, and Jack gets to hear Benedetto's stories about his interactions with the townspeople. He has a picture of Fabio, the local mechanic, whom Benedetto is concerned about because he is a good man who may be involved in illegal activities. Benedetto sarcastically wonders if Jack ever wanted to be anything other than a priest, and Jack sarcastically wonders if Benedetto ever wanted to be anything other than a photographer. Jack had told him he wasn't good with machines, but he easily fixed Benedetto's car, and he can tell Jack has more money than a journalist should make, but Jack doesn't take the bait. The next day, Jack deliberately damages his car and drives it to Fabio's garage. Fabio initially refuses to assist a mysterious foreigner, but changes his mind when Jack mentions that he is a friend of Benedetto. Jack explains that cars are his hobby and asks if he can get some parts to repair a broken drive shaft, and Fabio agrees to give them to him for free. While looking for what he needs to make the silencer, Jack notices Fabio has a copy of the same photograph Benedetto has. On his way home, Jack notices Clara on her way to church and can't help but exchange a flirtatious glance with her. As soon as he arrives at his apartment, Jack resumes work on the weapon, successfully completing the silencer by the time night falls. The next day, he takes the rifle to the woods to ensure it works perfectly. Later, Jack goes to the body house to celebrate, but Clara isn't working today, so he decides to leave rather than choose another girl. In the evening, Jack visits a cafe 
and notices the same man is still staring at him. The clerk hands Jack an envelope that someone had left for him, and inside is a newspaper clip about the bodies he left in Sweden. When he gets back to his apartment, he takes a different route just in case, and he keeps his gun close by when he goes to bed. Later, Jack goes to the train station to pick up Mafalda, who is hiding her identity from prying eyes by wearing a different wig. Then he drives her to a secret spot in the forest near the river that he knows only he knows about. But Mathilda still wants to walk around and make sure there aren't any footprints or tire tracks before they start working. After that, Jack spreads out a picnic blanket as a cover in case the cops come back later and shows Mathilda his homemade rifle. Mathilda puts it together expertly and places an order for special mercury rounds. She's brought her own target to put the rifle through its paces, which she does with ease, and then she asks Jack to shoot at the flowers next to her from a safe distance. Jack is surprised that she trusts him enough not to kill her, and shoots the flowers without flinching, impressing Mathilda with the silencer he built because she couldn't tell where the bullet came from. When they're finished, Mathilda requests some final adjustments and that the delivery be made by the first of the month after she pays the first half of the money. The bullet casings are thrown into the river, and Jack scatters some wine on the grass as part of the cover. He even chilled it because that's how it's drunk here. At that moment, a butterfly lands on Mathilda's arm, and Jack tells her some interesting facts about that particular species. This prompts Mathilda to address him Mr. Butterfly and inquires whether Jack has ever brought a woman here before, which he denies. In the evening, Jack visits the body house to have some fun with Clara, who also refers to him as Mr. Butterfly due to his tattoo. Clara can tell Jack is thinking about something, but Jack doesn't think her concern is genuine and tells her she doesn't have to act for him like she does for other clients. He also generously tips, and when Clara points out that she makes more with him than all the other girls combined, he admits he doesn't see the other girls. Jack continues to work on the rifle and bullet modifications with Mercury, but he also takes breaks at the cafe. One afternoon, he runs into Clara, who is on her way to the movies with her girlfriend. They chat for a while, and when Clara mentions that she'll be available on Wednesday, Jack says they can meet at the usual location. Clara attempts to persuade him to mention the usual place, and when he refuses to mention the body house in front of her girlfriend, Clara takes advantage of this and invites him to meet her at a restaurant. After the ladies have left, Jack reads the newspaper and becomes concerned when he reads about call girls being killed. Later that night, on his way home, Jack notices the usual guy isn't just watching him anymore, he's actually following him. Jack hides in an alley, takes off his shoes, and waits for the guy to pass by before following him with his gun drawn. His intention is to kill him, but his plan is thwarted when the neighbor arrives on his scooter, alerting the guy to their presence. The assassin immediately reacts by shooting the driver and fleeing in his car, so Jack takes the keys from the body and follows him on the scooter. As Jack attempts to kill this man, a chase through town ensues, but he keeps missing his shots. When they reach the road outside of town, Jack manages to hit a tire and cause the car to crash. Then Jack approaches him and takes away his gun, threatening to kill him by hand. After that, Jack calls Pavel and informs him that the Swedes have tracked him down again, but Pavel advises him to stay put and finish the job. When Jack inquires as to how he was discovered, Pavel simply responds that Jack is losing his cool. That night, Jack struggles to sleep because the guilt of killing Ingrid haunts his dreams. He decides to go for a walk despite the fact that the sun is barely out, and runs into Benedetto, who likes to go for early morning walks to thank God for everything and ask him to look after sinners. Jack points out that all men are sinners, prompting Benedetto to explain that those who seek peace have a long history of sinning, and that Jack has done a lot of sinning. Benedetto learns of a death nearby last night, and wonders if Jack requires a confession, but Jack declines and taunts him by admitting he can tell Fabio is Benedetto's secret son. Benedetto admits he made a mistake in the past, but unlike Jack, he has someone in his life. At the restaurant in the evening, Jack meets Clara. He's impressed by how she handles the waiter when he tries to take Clara's order instead of Jack's because of her gender, and when a flower boy comes by, Jack buys her a flower. Clara objects because the seller believes they are a couple, but since Jack buys it anyway, she takes it as a positive sign. She can tell Jack has a secret, but he denies being married, so that's enough for her. They go to Clara's apartment after dinner and spend the night together. While Clara is showering the next morning, Jack snoops around and discovers a gun inside Clara's purse, which makes him suspicious. 8.47, later that day, he completes the order and purchases a suitcase along with a slew of office supplies in order to properly conceal the rifle. Now that his mission is complete, he can go out and follow Clara around to ensure she is not a spy. He does see her with some men, but he is unsure whether they are clients or criminals. The next day, Jack calls Pavel and requests two more days before making the drop, which Pavel agrees to. In the afternoon, Jack takes Clara to a secret picnic spot in the forest. 
Clara takes off her clothes to go swimming as soon as she sees the river, but Jack does not join her. Clara discovers bullet casings in the water as well, but she blames them on hunters, while Jack simply throws them back. While they are having a picnic, Clara reaches into her purse, causing Jack to tense up and grab his gun in defense. Clara was only grabbing her sunscreen, but his reaction sparks an argument nonetheless. Clara explains that she has a gun to protect herself because there is a serial killer targeting call girls, and Jack accepts her explanation. Clara then invites him to accompany her to the town procession tomorrow, and when Jack says he'll think about it, Clara wonders if they can start going on dates all the time. Jack quickly dismisses the idea, explaining that he can't stay forever, prompting Clara to kiss him and beg him to stay. When Jack gets home, he can't stop thinking about Clara's request and decides to call Pavel to let him know that he'll be leaving after the delivery. Pavel appears to accept this without hesitation, but after Jack hangs up, Pavel calls Mathilda with a special request. The next day, Jack drives to a roadside cafe to meet with Mathilda, who is wearing a different wig this time. He hands her the mercury bullets in a special can, and Mathilda grabs the suitcase as well, excusedly going to the bathroom to prepare an extra gun she brought with her. Jack is anxious and alone because Mathilda is taking too long and the other clients have left. Jack decides to wait outside with the gun in his pocket, and Mathilda brings him the rest of the money. Mathilda appears to have more to say, but a bus full of children arrives and Mathilda departs before they can be noticed. Mathilda follows Jack back to town while on the phone with Pavel, who wants her to kill Jack as soon as possible. Back in town, the procession keeps the streets clogged, making it easy for Mathilda to sneak inside a house, murder the owners, and find a spot on their roof to keep an eye on Jack while Pavel arrives. Clara accepts Jack's invitation to run away with him, and they confess their love for each other. At that moment, Mathilda prepares to shoot Jack, but her weapon malfunctions and kills her because Jack had pre-rigged it. When Jack notices this and realizes they're after him, he hands Clara the money and tells her to meet him at the secret location in the forest. Then Jack goes to check on Mathilda and ask her who sent her, before she dies, Mathilda confesses it was Pavel. Benedetto appears unexpectedly to see what's going on, and Jack points his gun at him, but he's learned his lesson from Ingrid and doesn't shoot. After apologizing to the priest, Jack goes in search of Pavel, purposefully entering an empty alley so he will be followed. Pavel takes the bait and approaches, but when he raises his fun, Jack turns around and shoots him until he dies. After that, Jack drives to the forest, but he begins to feel ill when he realizes Pavel hit him and he is now slowly bleeding to death. Jack tries his hardest to reach the forest, and sees Mathilda waiting for him, prompting him to reach out for her, but he died before he can say goodbye to her. 